Hello. My name's Hootie Ha Ha. Huh? Hello. I would like to take this moment to welcome you to the wonderful world of Atkins. Atkins rule number one, no more donuts. Aspartame and caffeine are looked down upon if you're doing Atkins. I've been reading a lot of that in the forums and in the Atkins handbook. Say it's supposed to prevent you from losing weight if you have too much caffeine or aspartame. And coffee drinkers, like myself, love Dunkin' Donuts coffee. They're flavored coffees. Don't have... Ah! Oh! They're flavored coffees, I found out, don't have calories or carbs, unless you put the sugar and the cream in them. But there's caffeine in, in, the, in them. Or Boca Java, same thing. I don't understand how caffeine and aspartame can prevent weight loss. If you're not putting anything in your body, and throughout the day you're burning calories, the math, just, the math doesn't add up. You, you're, you're burning calories. Your body will not be able to retain weight. Your body, it's, I guess your body is a brain, I guess, but your body's not a thinking brain. Your body doesn't go, oh my God, that's caffeine. I'm gonna, I gotta hold on to this, these extra fat, fat deposits, because for some reason, I don't know. I don't think, that, that's stupid in the deal with aspartame. Maybe, maybe there's some kind of chemical reaction with aspartame where the body might confuse it with carbs, which maybe that could cause you, cause you to, to slow down in your weight loss. Anyway. Distracting. Two thousand seven, I did Atkins, and I had no problem losing weight. And I had caffeine and aspartame. I was drinking energy drinks. I lost weight. I lost thirty-five pounds in five weeks. But I wasn't just doing the Atkins alone. So that makes me wonder if maybe the real reason why I lost weight wasn't because of Atkins, but because I was running two times a day. I quit drinking sodas. I mean, I drank the diet drinks, like the energy drinks, but I was also taking a, a certain a pill called Lipidrine with ephedra in it. So I wonder if I just lost weight because of the activity and the extra caffeine in my body that was boosting my metabolism and not Atkins. Some drinks that I found that people might like. Monster Rehab Tea, I've already done one video on this. It's got three grams of carbs and eight fluid ounces. And there's two in a can. So six grams of carbs, zero calories, zero sugar. If you want something with nothing at all in it, you can get the club soda. It takes the place of the fizzy that you might need in a carbonated drink. I think that's why I like carbonated drinks more than anything is the fizziness. Because when I drink this club soda, I'm fine without having any kind of carbonated beverage. And then, if I'm just totally jonesing, I don't really like Diet Dr. Pepper. If I'm going to drink Dr. Pepper, it's got to be real Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper, Dr. Pepper, Dr. Pepper. But I found this today. It's brand new. And it's called Dr. Pepper 10. I've already had a swig of it, a big swig. Tastes just like Dr. Pepper. Because reason why it tastes so good compared to Diet Dr. Pepper is because it's not true Diet Dr. Pepper. It's got five grams of carbs and four grams of sugar. So Dr. Pepper has done what Crush has done. If you pick up a Diet Crush, it's not real Diet Crush. It's got the same thing. It's got sugar and carbs in it and Diet Crush. That's why it tastes so good. <laughs> I'm doing the, uh, the diet plan for the organization I work for which will remain unnamed 
because if I embarrass them, I don't want I don't want to get in trouble. But the doctor I went to to get blood work, we do annual blood tests. It's a benefit. Gave us a pill called Fentermine, aka Apodex. Fentermine might sound like Finfin because part of Fentermine is Finfin, the drug that was that got a lot of people sick in the 90s. But Finfen, P-H-E-N dash F-E-N, has two parts to it. The F-E-N part was the bad part. The P-H-E-N was not the bad part. I don't know if it was the good part or if it's good for you, but the pill works. It kills your appetite. The doctor even told me you might have to set your alarm clock to remind yourself to eat. This will last me six hours, one pill, one pill a day. So I can take it at 9 p.m. Dang it! 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3. <laughs> and by 3 o'clock, I'm, I'm starting to feel hunger pains. And the reason why I feel hunger pain, pains, pains is because sometimes I forget to eat. I get so involved in my work, I forget to eat. And by then, there's, no, there's nothing in my body. And even with this stuff, I'm going to be... I'm gonna be starving. But if you eat small meals, this will help you get through the day. I'm gonna keep rambling. I was taking this. I've always hid this from people because I've always thought it was dangerous and I didn't wanna encourage any of my friends or loved ones to take this pill just in case it was dangerous. If you know me, you know that I have a constant jittery shake now. Not all the time, I'm pretty, I'm, I'm pretty steady right now, but whenever I'm, I'm exerting my hands, when I'm doing something, when I'm handing a piece of paper to somebody, or I'm like, hey, look over yonder, my, my fingers are always shaky, and I'm, I'm no doctor, but I think it could be because I've had too much of this. This has hoodia in it and ephedra. When I take this, it kills my appetite too, but not as long. I've got like, I still have cravings. When I take it, I don't have an appetite, but I'm like, man, I still I want some pizza. But when I take this, the cravings, even the cravings are gone. And I was reading on this, and this does something to your brain. It, there, there's something in your brain and it triggers it. Now, now something was already done to my brain before I took this pill, but this kills whatever appetite Scrinonagies are up here in your brain. And, uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Some people say it makes you dizzy, makes them dizzy. Some people say all kinds of stuff. Doesn't do anything to me. What it does to me, it doesn't do anything to me. What it does to me makes me zone out. You know how when you sit there and you're like, just tired and you're staring off into space and you're just kind of zoning not blinking your eyes or anything that's the feeling it, it puts on me I know it's doing something because I can feel it in my brain so why did I bring this up I don't know the uh everybody's like oh no don't take it it's got a fedger in it It's got 25 milligrams of, of ephedra. So this, six hours, and if I take it early and it ends by 3 p.m., the doctor called me and said, yes, this is safe. It's okay to take. My blood work is perfect, nothing wrong with me. Knock on wood, pray to God, throw salt over my shoulder. So what I'm gonna start doing is this in the morning, I'm gonna go buy another bottle of this after I finish it. I hope they still sell it because everybody was thinking, oh, it's illegal, it's taken off the shelf. Well, y'all didn't read the story that it was put back on the shelf. Okay. This and this will prevent me from sleeping for months. Hmm? Hopefully, this, both those will keep my body going full speed constantly. I also do a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu workout 
for lunch instead of going to lunch. And I'm going to try to motivate myself to go work out again at the end of the day. But it's weird how three years, as you get older, three years can be, can be such, can be such, I don't know what, what it is such. It, 2007, well, God, it's, it's almost four years. I can't remember what month. I could work out two times a day and, and it wouldn't phase me. And then I was, back then I was like 32, 32 or 33. Now I'm 25. No, I'm, I'm 36 now. And I can feel it. So, I don't know. And a lot of people are like, well, you weren't ever overweight anyway. Yes, I was. The reason why you say that is because A, you're either being polite or B, you were around me so much, and when I when I lost my weight, you didn't really see any difference in me because you saw me so much on a constant basis. But if I can find these pictures, I will scan them with my cheap little scanner, and I'll put them in this video, and you'll see the the difference is night and day. Oh, and people are like, oh, you do Atkins, uh, diet pill, and you're just gonna gain your weight back. No, I'm not. When I started out in 2007. I was actually 240 when I started in 2007, 240 pounds, lost 35 pounds because I remember now, and I got down to 205 within five weeks. Everybody, that's another thing, people look at me, you can't be that heavy. I don't know. Got down to 205, and now I'm back to, two, I'm at 221 when I, when I weighed. So in four years, I've only gained back 15 to 16 pounds. That's not what people say. Oh, you, all the weight's going to come right back once you get off it. No, it's not. Because it didn't. The only reason why the weight came back on me is because slowly over time, I built up my bad habits again. My freakishly long fingers. I got like alien fingers. Eh, Elliot, I need to go, I need to find a pay phone, help. My friend Bobby hates that. Freaks him out. Eh, eh. <laughs> <laughs>